Cape Cast. Hi, this is Tim Miller, entertainment editor and film critic of the Cape Cod Times. I'm here in sunny Woods Hole for the Woods Hole Film Festival, which is continuing through August 1st. Uh, we were lucky enough to get to talk to Joe Panoliano, who's here with his uh, new documentary, his directorial debut, uh, called No Kidding Me Too, which is a documentary about mental illness. Joe Panoliano, uh, I'm sure if you see his face, you'll recognize him immediately. He, uh, you might know him as Guido the Killer Pimp from Wh Risky Business, or Ralphie, the uh, mobster that we all love to hate in The Sopranos. Joe himself has, has struggled with, with mental illness, and he chronicles that uh, with interviews with his family. It's a very personal film, and yet it's not all about him. It's also about a lot of people who have had similar struggles. When I discovered three years ago that I was diagnosed with clinical depression, I was embarrassed, humiliated. I also came to understand that there's a tremendous stigma surrounding any kind of brain disease. The whole idea of this movie is for people to see it and say, holy sh**, they got what I got? No kidding, me too. You have to first believe that you can recover. Being diagnosed with mental illness is the greatest thing that has ever happened to me. I got my wife back, I got my children back. In addition to having problems, you also have incredible strength. No kidding me too. Our goal is to eradicate stigma and shame associated with mental disease. That's all we do. We don't do anything about discovering where it comes from. We don't do anything about how are we going to make it go away. We're about the stigma. Yeah. We're not about the illness. Right. And there's an 80%, upwards of an 80% recovery rate with all forms of mental disease. You can actually readjust your program. Um, and that's what this movie is about. Yeah. Uh, have you seen it yet? Yeah. Well, so, so that's what it is. The, 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 the uniqueness of this movie is the fact that there, this isn't, there is no anonymity in it. I talk about my illness. Uh, everybody knows I have it. Because I'm lucky to be alive today. By uh, choice now. ADHD. Bipolar and ADHD. So traumatic brain injury in Iraq. Dyslexia. Schizophrenia, schizoaffective disorder, and bipolar disorder. Alcoholic uh, and addict all in recovery. Post-traumatic stress disorder. Auditory processing issues. And paranoid schizophrenic. Depression. An alcoholic. A recovering self-injury. I can remember being told that I give mental illness a bad name. So I feel like I'm right at home. <laughs> and that's the whole point of No Kidding Me Too. We believe that the more we talk about this, the more normal it becomes, and the stigma is then evaporating. So you don't need to whisper about, uh, uh, I am bipolar, I am I clinical depression, my mother, you know, just like you did with cancer and just like you did with alcoholism. Right. What specifically do you want people who see the movie to come away with? I mean, it, it, what's the main thing? I want them to come away with, oh my God, I had no idea how easy it's going to be uh, to get better. Okay, to get, so... You know, to get, to get uh, help from my brother. Uh, that's the simple answer. Okay. If it, you want to complicate it a little more, I want, I want people who are out there to say, wow, I never knew my loved ones felt that way. Okay, so the, the, the Army has asked you to, to come in with your movie and to talk to the troops about, uh, about um, the about, subject about matter of the film. About mental disease and, uh, and preventing uh, the idea of, of suicide prevention mm -hmm. and homicide prevention. Um, how, do we, how do we, what do we do? How do we address this issue? How, uh, how can we immediately address this issue? So we came up with a plan that they approved. We will show the documentary on two bases a day. We will ha show it and then have a 45 minute discussion with my experience and what it was like for me. Dr. Robert Irvin, uh, McLean Hospital, he runs the long-term care, uh, 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 bipolar, schizophrenia, clinical depression, uh, and, and uh, Lisa J, who is an actress I worked with on a movie called Spring 83, and Lisa's mom uh, 
lives with bipolar disorder. And we will share our experience, our, our, our weaknesses and our hopes and what we do to manage this disease. KCAST!